Welcome to Text Talks Lecture 117, Testing the BJT Transistor. Today we will be going over the MPN and the PMP transistor and how to test one to ensure it's operating properly. First thing to cover is some basic components of this type of transistor. As you can see in the diagram, the transistors we are discussing are bipolar junction transistors, BJT, and is a type of transistor that uses both electrons and electron holes as charge carriers, diffusion current. A bipolar transistor allows a small current injected at one of its terminals, the base, to control a much larger current between the remaining two terminals, making the device capable of amplification or switching. BJTs exist as PMP and NPN types based on the doping types of the three main terminal regions. An NPN transistor comprises two semiconductor junctions that share a thin P-dope region, and a PMP transistor comprises of two semiconductor junctions that share a thin N-dope region. As you can see in the diagram, BJTs consist of three differently doped semiconductor regions, the emitter region, the base region, and the collector region. These regions are respectively P-type, N-type, P-type, and a PMP, and an N-type, P-type, N-type, and an MPN. Each semiconductor region is connected to a terminal appropriately labeled emitter, capital E, base, capital B, and the collector, capital C. As you can see in this diagram, this is a three-dimensional rendering of a BJT transistor. And you can see the, the emitter, let's say it's an emitter-based collector. The collector would be the really thick lead that goes, that is supporting the semiconductor wafer. And then the other two leads, being a base emitter or emitter base, are connected to that wafer through... Uh, big lead that allow you physical contact, and then the, the small micro leads that are buried into the epoxy of the transistor. And that's what it looks like. That's it for the lecture. Now on to the lab. Welcome to the lab. We're going to check our and test our MPN BJT first. And we're looking at the MPS A05 general purpose amplifier. And as you can see, this is the case. They call it a TO92. There's pin one, pin two, pin three. Pin one's the emitter, pin two is the base, and pin three is the collector. Now this is the flat side of our transistor. And so you start with the flat side looking at it. To the left is one, pin one, pin two, pin three. And here is our pin one, pin two, pin three. This is the flat side of the transistor. So we're gonna check for our conductance. It's an NPN, so the base has to have a positive voltage applied to it to do conduction from the base to the emitter, base to the collector, you should have conduction. And then when you reverse that polarity and put a negative voltage on the base, base to emitter, base to collector, it should not conduct. So let's check that out with our mask. Now you gotta, to uh, measure the voltage on your leads, it's not what you would think it is. The black lead in my uh, mass tech 7040, is positive and when I'm measuring ohmage and the red lead is negative voltage. So to I have an MPN transistor, so I need to have a positive voltage on the base to do conduction from the base to the collector and then to do conduction from the base to the emitter. So I have a positive lead here, positive voltage to the collector. We have conduction as you can see by the meter. I do that to the emitter, I have conduction. I swap the leads, now I have a negative voltage on the base to the collector. It shouldn't have any conduction, which I do not. Same with the emitter, no conduction. 
So the circuitry inside this IC, this transistor, from base to collector and base to emitter is good. Now, if I go from emitter to collector, since there's no current on the base, there should be no conduction. As you can see in the meter, there's no conduction. We'll reverse the leads. And as we can see, there's no conduction there either. So we know that this transistor is good. You need to know what the voltage is on your leads to do this testing properly. So I took my digital voltmeter, I am feeding into its zero to 20 volt DC input. My leads from the output of the analog meter on a times 10 resistive branch. And as you can see, the negative lead is into the positive input and then red lead is into the negative input common and then we have a 2.8 volt output of this volt ohm meter. If I swap it, put red to red, black to black, you can see it's a negative 2.8 volts. So knowing that I would put my black lead if I'm doing an MPN on the base from base to collector, black lead on base, red lead on emitter or collector, and I should get conduction. So that concludes the uh, lab here, and we'll move on to PMP testing. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.